Gotta catch them all. Honey, the only thing I'm catching is, uh, syphilis. Just, all right, roll the intro. Hello, who are you here to see? Oh, okay, sounds good, hold on. Uh, yeah, looks like he's free for the next hour. I'll go ahead and let him know you're here. All right, just go ahead and sit over there. Hello? Yes, they're here. I don't know. They said they want to talk. I'm not sure. All right, I'll send them back. He's waiting. Go on. Shoot. Hi! How's it going, everyone? My name is Xander. That's kind of a given. I kind of look like a Xander. Someone told me one time I look like a, um, Richard. I, I did have to kill that person on the spot. This is one of those videos where I just, you know, we're just doing it. You know, I don't feel like I need to explain myself. I often feel like when I'm making a video, I have to explain why I'm doing it, what brought me to sit in front of this camera and say what I'm saying. Today, we're not doing that. You don't need to explain yourself to society. Society needs to explain itself to you. All right, let's flip that narrative. So in honor of not explaining myself, I'm just gonna say today we are ranking Pokemon based on how hard they serve. I've had this question a lot, actually, how do you basically measure serve, right? How hard someone is serving. And that's kind of going to be like a difficult question to answer. It's very, it's vibe based for sure. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. There's really no way to describe it. Just for a little visual example, this is me not serving. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm serving a little bit. You have to understand, it's gonna be hard for me to not serve at all. Like maybe if it was like someone else, they could maybe try to not serve, but you know, I can't just like not serve. So like, this is me trying my best not to serve. So like, I'll cover my face and I'll like, I'll, I'll like, I'll do this. This is me not serving. And then this is me serving. Right? Do you see the difference? I didn't know which Pokemon to choose because they all have like evolutions and I was like, do I just do the first one or the last evolution? Do I do like the first 20 or whatever? Like I didn't know which way to go about this. So I went online and found a random Pokemon generator and I generated just 20 Pokemon out the gate. And these are the 20 Pokemon we will be discussing and ranking in this video today. Maybe if this is fun, we do a little part two. We'll see, we'll see how we're feeling. We'll see if we're feeling a little frisky today on the channel. I have 20 Pokemon here randomly generated, ready to go, and I will be ranking them into four tiers. The four tiers are as follows. The bottom tier is, no thank you, no, I'm, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm, all, yeah, no thank you. <laughs> the tier above that is, go girl, give us nothing. The tier above that is cute. All right, we're getting somewhere. Cute, 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 cute. And then the top tier is pokey mother. Peak, servitude, mama, boots, the give, better work, tea, and your house, is absolutely the mama tea, the boots better work. The train agrees, the train agrees. Okay, let's get into it. Let's talk about these Pokemon and what they're giving, honestly. Mama, is it giving? Sorry. The first Pokemon is Watchog. The name, I could take it or leave it. It's kind of clunky, like it doesn't really roll off the tongue. It's kind of like Watchog. You know, like it's kind of clanky clanky in the mouth. And then we look at the Pokemon itself. I am not necessarily really vibing with this. I'm not really sure I love it. I don't know why its eyes look like that. I don't know what kind of DMT acid trip this Pokemon is on right now, but it's a little intense. Um, I don't know. Like brown and yellow, those are your co those are like the two main colors we're doing in this color story, really. Like brown and yellow. By the way, did you know that those are the same colors as like like, did you know that? This looks like a ferret who has like mega rabies. Like rabies, but mutated to be really bad and like really crazy. Like, it's just not it. This is just not what we're wanting, not what we're looking for. She's gross. She's nasty. She's disgusting. She makes me want to vom. Kind of vom in my mouth a little bit. Watchog, sorry, no thank you. This is just not what I'm looking for at all. No, 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 I'm gonna pass. Next we have coughing. Based on the name alone, once again, kind of weird. Like, it sounds like just the like coughing? Your name is <coughs> coughing? I'm already a little thrown, to be honest. And then we get to the Pokemon itself and we're like, okay, what's, what are these gases? What are these gases exuding from this Pokemon? That's just, that's gross to me. That makes me feel gross. I just, it's, it's sorry. I don't say this often, it's ugly. I don't like calling things ugly because that's not nice, but honey, you're ugly. 
You're ugly. It gives me a bad vibe. This Pokemon looks like it's on a list of sorts. The face. The face looks like mischievous in like a dastardly way. Once again, I think I'm gonna say no thank you to coughing. Wow, the first two, out the gate, right in the bottom tier. Sorry, it's just, that's bad. That's gross. That's nasty. Get that on my face, please. Next we have Greninja. I think this name flows off the tongue a little more. You know, Watchog, coughing, Greninja. Greninja's a little more, okay, kind of sounds like a beautiful name. Like, oh, this is my daughter, Greninja. And everyone's like, oh, she's so Oh, she's so, she has such long hair. You know, that's like a baby with long hair, Greninja. And okay, I'm already liking this Pokemon a lot more. It's kind of like a frog. It's kind of giving like tall human frog, like the Jacob Alordi of frogs. Just very tall, long limbs. I like the blue and the yellow color story. My favorite thing though is the tongue scarf. That is a dedication to fashion, even when we don't have the resources to fully commit, right? So clearly Greninja was like, the look is giving. It just, it needs something up here. It needs a little more drama. It needs a scarf, but then Greninja was looking around and Greninja was like, oh no, I don't have a scarf. I have a balaclava. A balaclava doesn't go with this. I need a scarf. And so Greninja was like, okay, in times of need, in times of distress, we really commit and we make it work. And Greninja took their tongue, stretched it out, wrapped it around their neck and said, boom, scarf. And it looks lovely. This is the kind of thing I want to see. I want to see Pokemon committed to the serve, committed to the look. Name one of their Pokemon who's like ripping out their tongue and wrapping it around their neck for the sake of fashion and silence befalls the crowd. Right, that's what I thought. I'll do it, I'm saying Pokemother. I think the commitment is really admirable. Greninja, you did what needed to be done. Lorantis. Oh, okay, abs, oh yes, 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 absolutely. I'm so glad we're actually finally doing something. Thank you. First of all, the pose is everything. The pose of just like, ooh, he he he. Oh, sorry, I'm just, Oh ha ha, ho ho he he he. Like that's wonderful. The color story is phenomenal. Pink and green, yes, yes, yes. And I love how it's mostly pinks and then just kind of like green accents. I love the pinstripe pants. I know they're not pants, but they look like pants. I think that is so good. And I mean, she knows, she knows she's the moment, right? You look at her and you can see it in her eyes. She's like, yeah, I'm here. The moment the party has come, the party has come, the party is here. I'm not gonna lie, seeing this right after Greninja, I am gonna have to second guess and go back and make some changes. I'm gonna go back and put Greninja to cute in the cute tier. I love the scarf, but I think the entirety of it all, like look at Lorantis. This is a total, whole, complete look serve moment. Lorantis goes in the Pokemother tier. Absolutely, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Solosis, Solosis, what an interesting name. Solosis, maybe she's on her own. She's like a sister doing it for herself. Sisters are doing it for themselves. Who sings that? Is that Reba McIntyre? Oh, why does the mouth do that? Why is the mouth like long and up? That's unsettling. That makes me want to like rip my eyes out and my heart out. My, I want to rip all my vital organs outside of my body when I see that. It's giving cell. It's giving you carry out. It's giving meiosis. Is it cute? Is it like a cute Pokemon? Not in terms of the tears, but like just in general, like is it a cute Pokemon? I don't know. It's very simple, very small. I don't love that like there's just like a, like a squirt of mustard on its head. I feel nothing. I feel nothing towards this. Solosis, go girl, give us nothing. Why are you weird? Why do you have to be weird? Be normal. God. What the hell? Melodic. Ugh, love the name. Sounds like melodic. Already into it. And of course, I mean. <gasps> I remember this Pokemon, and I remember as a kid being like, oh, oh, she's the moment. She's the moment. She's everything. I mean, the eyebrows, if you thought eyebrows, like in 2016, the whole blocky eyebrows, if you thought that was severe, how about eyebrows that come off your entire head and wrap around and fly back like their antenna? Now that's a blocky eyebrow I can get behind. And then just like the snake thing, and it goes into like almost like a stained glass kind of look with the blue and the pink, and then the fan tail, the like thwack, the t ooh. God damn, I'm so into it. Melodic, absolutely top tier Pokemother. What are you even talking about? Like, what do you even mean? Like, shut your ass up. Can it, can it, bitch. Garbodor, oh right. This is the Pokemon that's like completely made out of garbage. You would think that I hate this, and part of me does, but part of me's like, okay, kudos to you for sticking with the theme, right? Like, we're really committed, at the very least. On that note, 
I think I hate it. I think it's really disgusting and awful to me. I don't want a Pokemon made of garbage. I feel like that's kind of like a base bar minimum. Base bar minimum. Base bar minimum for a Pokemon is to not think and smell like goddamn garbage. I can appreciate the fact that we're committing to a theme, but the theme is just bad. I'm gonna put it in the no thank you tier. I'm sorry. Just, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand you kids and your phones. Mr. Mime. Crazy name. Actually kind of into it. It's kind of like a stage name. All of these other names are just kind of like this weird coagulation of just like vowels and consonants thrown together into a blender. Mr. Mime. Okay, I think I'm getting what we're going for. Kind of like Lady Gaga, Mr. Mime. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this name. And then we look at Mr. Mime and I say, okay. I say, well, hmm. I can't tell how I feel about Mr. Mime. He kind of is very elusive to me. Cause inherently, it's a little off, right? There's something unsettling about him. But on the other hand, there's something wonderful. There's something that really intrigues me. Cause this is a showman. This is someone who cares about showmanship to the nth degree. This is someone who is committed to the performance, to the, to the, pizzazz of it all, right? To the just like the wondrous sort of facade, the charade of sort of, if you will, the magic of live theater. This is gonna go ahead and be someone who really, really cares about the kind of like <laughs> Start spreading the news. Uh, Mr. Mime uh, is gay. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to. I had to. That's just too funny. I think I have to put it in no thank you. I think I have to. Like, I can really appreciate it, but just like, visually it's off. The energy's there. The character's there. The performance is there. But we're talking about serving. We're talking about the look. And the look is off. Gumi. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I think the antenna's cute. I think purple and green. That's a fun color story. It's a little boring. A little basic. Not much going on. It's kind of a very similar Pokemon to Solo Sis, which we talked about earlier. But this one, I, I appreciate more. Like, Solosis was kind of just like, I don't know, it wasn't hitting for me. I think this is cute. It's simple, but there's beauty and simplicity. There's something to be said about minimalism, and I think Gumi does it better than the minimalist Pokemons we've seen so far. So I'm gonna put Gumi in cute. I think Gumi's cute. Gyumi. I think Gyumi is such a cute Pokemon. Have you seen Gyumi today? I've been looking all over for Gyumi. I think I've lost Gyumi. Low punny. Okay, when this one came up, I just about nearly screamed. I just about nearly screamed my ass off. I mean, just look at her. I mean... Like, what is there to say? We've got crazy eyebrows yet again, which I think is a sign that the Pokemon's really gonna go ahead and serve, is that they have just crazy eyebrows that fly off their face. The huge ears and then the like puffs around the wrists and like the basically the like thigh high boots she's wearing. I mean, I think this is the most Pokemother tiered Pokemon we've seen so far. Oh my God, right? Like this is crazy town, USAville, population, low punny. Next we have Pikachu. The look is iconic, cute little yellow rabbit mouse thing. I love that we have like black tips on the end of the ears and like the brown ziggy zag going up the tail. It gives us variety. I've noticed brown and yellow are themes with the Pokemon in terms of the color story. Red cheeks. I mean, she's wearing a lot of blush. Almost too much blush, right? Like that's a little intense, just like two red circles, but I'm not gonna get into that. I think it's great. It's not blowing my mind, but I mean, it's Pikachu. Come on, right? I'm putting it in the cute tier. It's not, whoa, crazy. Bill, but it's, you know, really, really well done. Chandelure. Chandelure. I think this is a fun name. Chandelure. Very like, ooh, I'm intrigued by this kind of vibe. And of course, I really think this is a great Pokemon. I mean, come on. Love it. Love it. Because here's the thing. I feel like there are a lot of like fire Pokemon that have fire on them and then the fire is like orange and red. This is a fire Pokemon, but the fire is like blue and purple. This is exactly what I want to see. I want to see a twist on a classic. And of course, it's a chandelier. Like, that's so like rich and like ka, 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 kind of vibe. I do wish I was getting a little more from this. I think to put it in the Poke Mother tier, it's gotta be just like a little more kind of like crazyville, but it's very high in the cute tier. I'm gonna put it in the cute tier. Loving this, loving Chandelure. Flareon. So this is what I meant. This is kind of like the fire Pokemon that's just orange and yellow. So that's kind of a little predictable, to be honest. And I love that the tail kind of looks like a flame and that it all, it's fur, but it looks like fire, da 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 da, but like, I don't know, I'm a little bored. I'm a little bored when I'm looking at this. Just like, okay, it's it's dog, it's a dog. It's a dog that kind of looks like fire, but it's not. It's orange and yellow. I don't know, I'm just like, ugh, so uninterested in this. I don't care, I'm sorry. Flareon, go girl, give us nothing. It's just, 
not exciting. Stuffel. Stuffel or Stuffel? It's spelled S-T-U-F-F-U-L. Stuffel? Stuffel. Hello, my name is Stuffel. I love a schnitzel. I'm gonna say it's Stuffel. Let's see what Stuffel looks like. Aww. Now you shut your can. You shut that trap. This is absolutely the darn cutest thing I've ever darn seen. I love the ears. Kind of look like, almost like butterfly wings, because it's like choo choo choo. That's cute. The white band around the head, and then like the stripes and the little tail and the paw. Kind of like a red panda, if the red panda kind of was actually interested in modeling, or like giving a little more than just kind of like tree rat, right? And it's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely loving it. I'm gonna put it in cute because it's not, as we said, crazy town, but it's very, very cute, very well done. It's absolutely not go girl, give us nothing. It's not Pokey Mother. Lands itself in the cute tier. Gothitelle. I mean, okay. I'm so glad we're finally getting fashion, right? Like, the other Pokemon, some of them were just bare naked. Just bare ass naked. Like, what the hell? We have like a tiered gown with these white bows on each tier. The bow comes up and is sitting on top of the head, and we have this headpiece that has these like black discs coming off the side and kind of like choo, choo. It's such a cohesive, well done look. This is the first Pokemon that's doing like garmentry, fashion, red carpet ready. Let me hit the runway in this complete and totally conceptualized and well done outfit, garment. Look. Pokemother, what more can I say? Like, I, uh, I want a Pokemon that wakes up every morning, puts on an outfit, and walks out the door knowing that none of these other Poke bitches could ever, could ever, lick a tongue. Oh, okay, all right, okay, sure, yeah, okay, sounds good, okay, all right, goodbye, all right. Pink and yellow, okay. I like that, kind of like strawberry lemonade vibes, but just the to tongue? Why do we just have a big tongue? It worked for Greninja, because Greninja made it a fashion moment, wrapped it around the neck, made it a scarf. Lick a tongue, it, it just looks gross. You're just getting like dirt and like hair and dust on your tongue, you know what I mean? If your tongue's hanging out like that, it's dragging on the ground, that's nasty. This is gross. After seeing Greninja and knowing how much of a serve that long tongue can be, and knowing that Lickitung has the exact same length of tongue, just as much material to work with, but did absolutely nothing with it, that infuriates me. Lick a tongue? No thank you. Lazy. Bad. Incorrect. I hate you. Moving on. You suck. Empoleon. Ugh. My favorite Pokemon as a kid was Piplup. That was like the one. And of course, this is like the final evolution of Piplup and this is just uh, like, oh my God. First of all, the white detailing that kind of goes around and ha it looks like a doily, kind of like that kind of vibe, like lace. Lacy, oh lacy, skin like puff pastry. Uh-uh, scratch that, skin like Empoleon. <laughs> Huh. The blue kind of sharp collar and then the blue spikes on the wings. The beak that turns into a crown. You. That's absolutely wonderful. And look under the wing. Acrylics. We have acrylics on. This Pokemon is wearing six inch acrylics under its wings. That is wonderful. Poke Mother. Absolutely wonderful. This is exactly what I'm asking for. The entire. Oh, shut up. Quaxly. I love the name and oh my gosh. Cute. This is a cute Pokemon. Oh my goodness, you're just so cute. Everything about you is absolutely darling. It's like a little duck. I love a duck. But also like the hair. The hair is very clearly attended to. This is a Pokemon who brushes their hair, has some product in, it's got some sheen and some shine. Love the blue, yellow, and white color story. It's very like nautical. I'm into that. Once again, not at that top tier. It's a little, you know, kind of simple, but cute. Quaxly, cute tier. Cute tier. Dragalgy. Dragalgy? Maybe it's Dragalgy. No, I think it's Dragalgy. I don't know. Dragalgy. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm into this. I'm into the brown and purple. I think that's very cool. And then like the headpiece being red and green, like a completely different color story going on up here. It accents it so well. And we have all of these like flares and ooh da da and fins and curves. And it's just like such an intricate Pokemon. Thinking about it in my head, purple, brown, red, and green. I'm like, no, that does not work. I don't like those colors altogether. Looking at it here, it's absolutely wonderful. It's natural. There's something very natural about it. I'm gonna say Pokey Mother. Sorry, that might be controversial. I'm really loving it. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for out of the box. Pokey Mother, loving to see it. And then finally, Mew. Simple name. Cuts to the chase. Most of these names are like four syllables. This is just Mew. Mew. Very simple. Love that we're doing pink. Think that's great. Very fetus vibes, right? Kind of like a little fetus Pokemon. I love the tail, the long tail that wraps and winds. Wonderful. This Pokemon looks like it has a secret. This Pokemon looks like it knows something that you don't. Just kind of like, ooh, oh, 
Uh -uh. Very intriguing. Makes me want to know more. I'm gonna say cute. I think it's very cute. Yeah, I'm gonna say cute. It's going in the cute tier for sure. Love it. Love, love, love. Okay, that's all the Pokemon we have for today. I think the winner, the top of the top, the creme de la creme of all the Pokemon, the top of the Pokemother tier. Lopunny. I think it's Lopunny. No, 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 I go back. Gothitelle. Gothitelle is the winner. Lopunny is a close second, but I think the Pokemon today who served the hardest has to be Gothitelle. It's... The look, it was a look, goddammit, holy Christ. Just like a stupid little video today, just being stupid with y'all. Y'all don't mind if I be stupid real quick. All right, okay, sounds good. If you enjoyed the video, hell, why not subscribe? I mean, I've had so many people, I couldn't even tell you, couldn't even begin to tell you, come up to me and be like, hey, I subscribed to your channel and my life became infinitely better. The sun was brighter, the birds were chirping and singing their beautiful song, more beautiful than they ever had before, the grass was greener, just like life became more worth living. And I said, yes, that's exactly what happened when you subscribe to the channel. It just, things fall into place, you know what I mean? So if you want that for yourself, if you want to turn the world technicolor, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. See what happens. I am telling you, it is a surefire way to take your life from a zero to a 12 to a goddamn 13. This is just what people have been telling me. I cannot be sure that it's the truth, but I've had a lot of people say it's so. So you might have to see for yourself. Okay. All right. Well, okay. This has been cute and fun. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording and go ahead and edit this video, upload it as soon as possible so y'all can watch it, so y'all can have a good time watching this video. Okay, I have nothing more to say other than hi. Goddamn. Cynthia Revo, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. You heard that. You watch out. You watch your back. All right? Wicked too. We might need a recast. Goddamn. I'm like if Adele could sing.